excellent. Hey, what's happening, guys? I always love it when I get packages in the mail, especially when they're from our friends at PCB Way. This video is sponsored by PCB Way. Why is it sponsored by PCB Way? Because they make good stuff and I use them. And they said, hey, well, you're using this anyway. Why don't you uh, do a little work for us? I said, sure. So inside here, you will find some new boards. Awesome. What we're going to look at today is this one. I don't know how well you'll be able to even read that. Gerber PCB Stem Boards ResD. Guesses for ResD? This will be my resistor divider board. Cool. Let's uh, take a look at these on the computer. Okay, here's a quick and easy look at the circuit itself. We have the power coming in that matches all of our other boards. And then it's fed across the top as a bus. And then we're going to come down through here to each one of our voltage dividers. You can see we have five voltage dividers. Yeah, you can see we have a... This one here is 1K and 1K. And then we have an enable jumper. So they're not all on at the same time and creating some sort of weird parallel resistance, you know, bizarro universe. Alright, let's take a look at the board form factor then. So there's our form factor. It fits all of the, the other boards. I put some dimensions up here. This one's just a slightly bit longer at 55. Yeah, that was yeah, supposed to be 30, but <laughs> you get the idea. And you can see also here we put the re resistor divider equation on there so that the students can figure that out as well. I'm not going to go through this whole design layout process with you. I'm going to send them off to PCB way and we're going to get made. And that's all there is to it. So this is my 15 minutes of soldering this thing together, condensed down to one minute for you guys. It's mostly just a bunch of resistors and some mail pin headers you know, set up in a way to make voltage dividers so that the kids can learn about them. Now, all in all, it went pretty well. A couple things. Uh, number one, I thought I had 47 K ohm resistors because I had a drawer that's marked 47k ohm and there's a package of resistors in there but when I went to put it in the board they were actually 470k ohm so can't use those and that's why you're going to find a big old 1 watt resistor sticking out of there like a hangnail just horrible On the, uh, everything else went together pretty well and uh, we're going to find out here in a minute how it went for real <laughs> we'll plug it in and uh, yeah See if it works. It's always nice when it works the first time, right? Okay, guys, we're ready to give it a test. There you can get an idea. So we'll check the first one, which is two 1K resistors. We've got our 5-volt voltage regulator here. So the first thing we need to do is put a jumper on the voltage divider that we want to test. That will enable it to go to ground. Then we're going to put one probe on our ground clip here, and one probe up here, and we should see somewhere in the 2.5 volt range. Well, now that didn't do anything. Check the next one. What did I do wrong here? Crap. Shit. 
All right, so it's like three minutes later. Not time enough for me to even do anything. I'm just sitting here probing around. <laughs> Damn thing just decided to start working. That was the 1K 10K. Here's the 10K 1K. Here's 1K, 1K, 1K. Nothing there. That one's working. This is 1K, 10K, 47K. Whoops. Not going to have anything there. The power comes out. That's for sure. There we go. Yeah, good. So, why it didn't work the first time I tried it, I have no clue. Like I said, I changed absolutely nothing. You can see everything is still soldered exactly as it was. It just didn't work the first time, and then it did. Wow. That's something. So there's our voltage divider board, and it's ready to join the family now along with our power supply board, RC timing board, split rail power supply board, and transistor controlled LED board. And I got two more of them coming up this month and I wouldn't be able to do it and get these boards made for the STEM program at the local school without the help of my friends from PCB Way. So if you guys need PCBs, you've seen the work they do. It is, without a doubt, excellent. Give them a try. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Sure. Feel free to tell them Paul from Learn Electronics sent you. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. One question I get all the time. Where can I get Uncle Rob's Magic Flux? I don't know. See, it just shows up in my mailbox every once in a while like mana from heaven. Perhaps Uncle Rob is watching this video. Are you watching, Uncle Rob? And if so, maybe you could uh, put a comment down below, which I will then pin, as to where these cats and cool kittens can get their hands and their mittens on some of your magic flux. All right, that's it. I'm out. Peace.